I'm Ali, I'm one of the physios from TreatMyAchilles.com. We're an online virtual physiotherapy service for people with Achilles pains or problems. They can be tendonitis and tendinopathies, or they could be recovery from tears or complete ruptures. This is a series of videos in regards to partial tears or partial ruptures of the Achilles tendon. And today we're going to be talking about what we might expect about healing and how long healing takes if we were to have a partial um, rupture or a partial tear. There are links to the other videos in this series underneath this and please have a click on those and read through as it would all make sense if you watch the series together. So in the last um, episode we were talking about the anatomy and what makes up the Achilles tendon and what happens when we have a partial tear. So we talked about how we have lots of fibres that make up our Achilles tendon and with a partial tear it's when a few of those fibres, not all of them but quite a lot of them or indeed only a few of them still classify as a partial Achilles tear rather than all of them which would be a complete rupture. So what happens when we have this tear is immediately our body goes into a state of inflammation and this inflammation can come out over the first few hours and indeed over the first two or three days it might seem quite bad. This is normally the peak of that inflammation time unless we were to do something to irritate it again. And signs of that inflammation is a great sign. It's the first stage of healing and it's an important phase. What we're doing there is getting symptoms like swelling, redness, a bit of warmth or a bulgy look to the back of that tendon. We also mentioned in the last uh, episode that it might be worth seeking some medical advice at this stage to make sure that your diagnosis of a partial tear is correct and that we aren't missing anything like a complete tear. What happens next is our body's really quite clever. While this inflammation is happening and as it starts to go away, we then start to send our blood vessel, sorry, our blood supply to that area. And that blood supply is fabulous. It sends with it all of the cells that we need to help knit those tendons back together again. And how that knits, if you imagine our Achilles tendon is made up of lots of bundles of fibres in straight lines, and when we pull a few of those fibres, everything is a bit torn and not attached together again. So what happens is we gradually get to the point where they're knitting back together. But if instead of knitting back together in a nice straight line, it knits back together in what I call higgledy-piggledy. And I know some people have commented before and said, what do you mean by higgledy-piggledy? What I mean by that is not in a straight line. They grow in different directions as things knit back together again. Now this knitting back together takes a few weeks. It takes a few weeks from about week one, week two, all the way through to about 12 weeks. Now this means we can start to do a bit more and we'll come on to talk about the rehabilitation of a partial rupture or a partial tear in the next video and what you might expect. Around about nine, 10 weeks, we can be relatively confident, depending on the severity of your tear, that things have knitted back together. After about this 12 weeks, three months kind of marker, and again, these are approximate times. Some people are a little bit slower, some people are a little bit um, quicker than this. And what happens around that time is that we start to then reorganize those collagen fibers. So instead of them being in that higgledy-piggledy fashion, in that non-straight line fashion, our body then remodels them back into that. And that can take a period of months to get back to that position. Now, it's quite interesting when we look at these scans of people that have had Achilles partial ruptures or partial tears. And sometimes, and again, this isn't everyone, and it's not all that common, there can be signs that there was a tendonitis or a tendinopathy in that tendon before there was a rupture. And so if you've had a grumbling tendon that's been causing you problems for a while before or symptoms of a tendinopathy, and if you're not sure what that is, again, there's a link to a video for that in the description underneath. If you've had signs of that, now this rehabilitation may need to include um, rehabilitation for a tendinopathy. So it might take just a little bit longer than the actual healing process does.